we look at the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we will find that on many occasions, he looked beyond the past. What this means is he did not harp on the past. He did not remind people about their past. Rather, he looked forward and progressively, he actually helped people overcome whatever may have happened in terms of negativity in the past. For this reason, we say, inhale the future and exhale the past. Make sure that you do not get bogged down in things that you have done in the past, perhaps, or with that which you were not proud of, something that happened in your past. And you keep thinking, why did this happen? Why did the Almighty do this to me? Not realizing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is far greater. Allah judges you by how the ending was, not by how the beginning was. Just like a football match, I always give the example of at the beginning, you could be losing, but during the match, you may score goals and at the end you will win. And subsequently, they will not look at what the score was at the beginning of the match, but rather the one who wins at the end is the real winner. The same applies in life. If we won towards the end and right at the end, then we have truly taken the trophy. But if we have lost at the end, then we have lost everything, even if at the beginning we saw pockets of victory. So my brothers and sisters, remember within our own lives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always told us that He is most forgiving, most merciful, he will delete everything we've done in the past. The one who has sought forgiveness, the one who sought forgiveness from a sin is equivalent to he who has not sinned at all. And then we have verses of the Quran where Allah says, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ The people who have turned back to the deen and practiced correctly after they sought forgiveness of Allah for the sins that they had engaged in, no matter how big they were, Allah says, we will convert their bad deeds into good deeds. And that's amazing because that's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful. So my brothers and sisters, it's important for us never to go back to the past and look at it in a way that bogs us down, that makes us doubt the mercy of Allah. That is the plan of shaitan. Firstly, he wants you to commit a sin. Secondly, he doesn't want you to repent from the sin. For, thirdly, if you have repented from the sin, he wants you to think that you are not forgiven. And fourthly, he wants you to continue visiting the past in a way that you just don't move forward. So in order to move forward, we must make sure that we understand the plan of Allah. We are human beings. We're not angels. We're also not devils. We're in the middle somewhere where we will, through our own weakness, we may transgress, we may commit sin, not because we're, not because we're defying Allah, but rather because we are human beings and then we seek the forgiveness of Allah. So if I were to say that mankind was created in order to worship Allah, I'd be correct. And if I were to say mankind was created in order to seek the forgiveness of Allah, wherever he or she has gone wrong, I would also be correct because Adam alayhi salam was created by Allah, not on the earth, but from the earth. And so Allah waited for him to commit a sin, to seek forgiveness, to be forgiven. And then he was sent onto the earth in order for us to know what to do when we falter. And Allah forgave him. Allah forgave him completely. He was loved by Allah. Imagine there was one thing that he could have done wrong. And that is the thing that he actually did wrong. Subhanallah. But Allah forgave him when he said a few words. And he always looked forward and progressed. When you suffer a loss in life, don't go back and start looking at it in a way that doesn't allow you to progress. Yes, if you're going back to learn lessons, indeed, that is required. But if you're going back in order to lament over what had happened in a way that it stops your progress and it stops you from gaining closeness to Allah, then you have fallen into the trap of shaitan. Similarly, when it comes to people who have wronged you, do you know that there comes a point when 
you would probably benefit much more by letting go and by not revisiting the past and talking about it all the time. This person did this to me. They did this to me. It will hinder your forward movement. And this is why Allah says, What is the best thing that you could do? To be patient and to forgive. That is the best thing that you could do. Subhanallah, be patient, forgive. It's difficult, but the benefit will be yours more than anyone else's. Just remember that. Similarly, look at the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he interacted with those who had harmed Islam and the Muslims and even murdered some of the Muslims. Look at Khalid ibn al-Walid ibn al-Mughira radiallahu anhumah. When he came to Medina Munawwara accepting Islam, he was worried about the murder that he had committed in the past. So he asks the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about it. And he was told, إِنَّ الْإِسْلَامَ يَجُبُّ مَا قَبْلَهِ When you revert to Islam, whatever bad you had committed in the past will be deleted completely. And you are forgiven. It won't be revisited. So this, my brothers and sisters, is a very interesting point. Allah does not go back to your past, so you should not go back to your past. Let's look at the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on a different note where he entered Mecca. The victory of Mecca. And what did he tell the people? He told them, Ya ma'ashara Quraysh, ma'adha tadunnuna anni fa'ilun bikum. O people of Quraysh, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? Bearing in mind that they had murdered, they had committed atrocities, they had actually engaged in so much of negativity against the Muslimin. And here is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with all the power on that day. He could have done anything. He could have court-martialed them, executed them, whatever he wanted. But he told them, Idhabu fa'antum tulaqa You can all go. You are all free. There is going to be no retribution today. I am going to tell you what the Prophet Yusuf, may peace be upon him, told his brothers, Go, la tathriba alaykum ulyum. Go, there is going to be no revenge against you on this particular day. Subhanallah, why did he do that? Why did he do that when so many people had died at the hands of these criminals? Why did he do that when so many people's wealth was usurped by these criminals? Because he knew that we want to move forward. We don't want to go backwards. At times, learn to forgive and move forward. You will never ever progress if you have baggage. You will only be able to inch forward very slowly and it will affect your health. It will affect everything around you. It will even affect your new relationships. It may even affect your family relationships, whatever else, your surroundings, your work, everything will be affected. Do you know why? You're carrying a lot of baggage. And this is the reason why we say, let it go, let it go, subhanAllah. No problem. You will benefit from letting it go. Some people say, but this person stole my wealth and they did this. Yes, I'm not saying do not seek justice, but I am saying learn to move forward and don't cry over the past in a way that it stops your progress. Do you know in some countries where there is no justice at all, you would probably be better off walking away and you would suffer a smaller loss if you walked away without trying to get back what was usurped of yours because sometimes the justice system in some countries is so corrupt that the judges and the whoever else it may be in the entire system would accept bribes and they would rule in favor of the criminal simply because they were bribed and allah speaks about this in the quran it's been happening from a long time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very beautifully that don't go to those who are uh, the rulers and those in authority in order that you eat the wealth of others, you know, by bribing these people. So this is something, my brothers and sisters, we need to weigh when we are seeking justice in a system that is corrupt. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to build systems that are filled with true justice, for indeed, justice is what will bring about true growth of any nation. So my brothers and sisters, here goes. The Quran is telling us to maintain justice and at the same time, find it in your heart to forgive and to progress. You move forward. Life is too short to hold grudges. 
Life is too short to think about the past all the time, to talk about what happened to you all the time. Yes, you might want to get it off your chest, but that's it. Then don't harp on it forever and ever. If you had to utilize those energies that you were using to go back into the past, to move forward, you would probably gain so much and you would achieve success upon success. Look at some of the wealthiest people on earth. Look at some of the most successful people on earth. They have had some losses and suffered great losses in their past. They never kept looking at it and crying over what they lost. Look at those who went through divorces and then they married people who were kings and queens in their lives. Subhanallah. Why? Because they looked beyond the problem. They looked beyond the loss. They looked beyond the issue and they continued progressing with the energy that Allah gave them. When your mind is clear, you, your health is better. You can think in a better way. You progress rapidly by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.